name's Acacia Leakey and I'm the Technical Initiatives Manager for the Takana Basin Institute, TBI. I'm also the Project Manager for our Water Energy for Food program. TBI is a research institution with two facilities. Uh, we're here at TBI Illaret, which is in the far north of Masabek County, next to Lake Takana and the Ethiopian border. TBI does a lot of work with prehistory and has played a very critical role in uncovering all of the incredible fossils and archaeology in the region. And now we're expanding into technical and applied sciences to make the most of all of the incredible resources of the region and conduct research that uh, identifies new livelihood opportunities for sustainable development. And the Water Energy for Food program is a critical pioneering component of this effort. Uh, so we're going to show you some of the work that we've done so far. My name is Peter Barrio. I'm from Illeret, specifically uh, from Watali village, working with TBI as a WE4F project of Sahia, and at the same time, like let's say, a community liaison. In this area, uh, there's that changes of cli climate. Uh, like in a year, we used to get a rain like twice in a year. But sometimes it is short, like one month, then it disappears. Here we have our borehole which has a submersible pump at a depth of 42 meters. And this pump is operated by uh, solar panels. And we also have a backup generator, which used to be our only source of power for pumping this water eight and a half kilometers to the TBI facility, which is in that direction. We have um, 39 panels and they power the pump using a timer which allows us to control when the pump's operating. It uh, pumps about 4,000 liters per hour. The water from this borehole is hot, which means that it's not very easy to pump, but the water is also very saline, which means that we can't drink it directly or use it for any form of agriculture. And that's why we have to have the reverse osmosis system. So we're now at TBI, where the water from the borehole that we've just been to arrives. It goes into a large cement reservoir tank and we keep it in that tank to begin with because it's still hot having come out of the borehole. We then pump it into these header tanks with a booster pump and they distribute the water to the rest of the TBI campus and particularly the reverse osmosis system. I am Daud Godana from Illeret, Turkana Basin Institute. I'm working with the stores, managing supplies and calm. Now join new osmosis plant machine in five days trading. Now working with the machine. The machine is doing good work. Energy comes from the solar with the control switch there to the main osmosis switch box. We get water from the outside tank, which is raw water, comes to the sun filter into the new osmosis system. Two, after cleaning, separating salty and fresh water, the fresh water goes to the main tank on top of the towel and the salty water goes to the spa. I'm Atta Shadrach. 
a man uh, hydroponic expert with the Turkana Basin Institute, that's TBI. And uh, here we do the hydroponic gardening. And uh, the main challenge here is water. But the water we get now from the reverse osmosis system. From the reverse osmosis system, when the water is, uh, is ready, we use this water for growing the crops. And the hydroponic is just simply growing, uh, is a soilless farming, farming without the soil. And instead of soil, we use the pamais. The pamais is the volcanic rock, which you can see. This is the one we use as a, a media. We mix it with the cocoa peat. Cocoa peat is also a media. And in hydroponic farming, we do various crops. We have the veggies, you can also do the fruits. And also we have different systems. So in the hydroponic, generally you find there is circulation of water. There is no wastage of water, no spillages, because every single bit of water is consumed within the system. In this community, uh, the major co uh, activity is livestock keeping. Every, every day you can see someone is going with, uh, looking after the animals. The big challenge we have is, one is water, that's the most biggest challenge in our community. Two, we we, we don't have enough support for like the, the two I have mentioned, like on the side of health or education, like that. We don't have support. Okay. This is the class where we do take our classes for the trainees. We have 12 trainees on the board. And uh, the course, the classes start 8.30, theory up to 10.30. So we have two hours class of theory. Then we have a break. We go to the field for another two hours. So this course, it's purely the trainees, we are taking them through the, to understand the basics of hydroponics. Uh, my name is Joseph Koya Nachinya. I'm from Ilaret, uh, especially Paulo Cluster and I'm uh, one of the trainees of hydroponic uh, farming. What uh, affects us is lack of food, you know, lack of food. Uh, we, 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 we mostly uh, wait for government aid, NGO aid to, to, to bring us uh, food, but not most of the, like once or twice a year, of which you cannot just, um, you cannot just, uh, just wait for those uh, aid to come every time, like once or twice a year. So there's so many challenges in terms of uh, uh, food. So hydroponic has brought a lot of hope. 